Let's look at this set. Three prominent institutes of management, PIMX, PIMY, and PIMZ, select students for their postgraduate programs by judging them on various parameters. They conduct an admission test followed by group discussion and personal interview. They consider the scores of the students in AT, GD, PI, along with some other parameters. The relative weightage or weightages of these parameters in the selection criteria of PIMs are shown in the following bar chart. So this is the bar chart being talked of. The maximum score in AT, GD, PI and other parameters is 100, 50, 50, 50 respectively. So apart from AT, everything else is 50. All weightages are integral multiples of 5%. They did not really need to give that information because within the bar chart, the numbers are clearly stated and all of them are indeed integral multiples of 5. Marks obtained by few students in these parameters are compiled in the table given below. Okay. Additionally, we are told the table that they're referring to marks of student is this table. Finally, they tell us PIMX, PIMX will offer admission to top two, PIMY to top three, and PIMZ to top three students from the uh, students from the students mentioned in the table will be uh, as in table above according to their respective selection criteria. Okay. So we would have to create three tables, one for PIMX, one for PIMY, and one for PIMZ, and then calculate their composite scores, and then identify which two will get offers from X, which three will get offers from Y, which three will get offers from Z. So the table will look something like this. I have created the table beforehand and kept it ready to go. We will have three tables created like this. So let this be for X, let this be for Y, and let this be for Z. Now, according to the relative weightages that we see in the bar chart, we'll go ahead and find out that effective score or composite score calculation lets us do. 40% of 99 is 39.6. Then 40% of 97 is 38.8, then 39.2, finally we have 95, uh, 38, 94, 37.6. Then for GD, point 0.2 into these numbers, so 4.4, 4 4.6, 4 4.8, 5.4, 94.5, then for PI, we get 45 into 31. So 10.85, 35 into 35, so 12.25. 30 into 35, so 10.5. 33 into 35, so 11.55. And finally, 5% of 42. So half of this divided by 10. Half of this is 21 divided by 10 is 2.1, 1.7, 1.5, 1.8, 0 1 and 2.05. So now we have the individual components identified for X. Let us add these up. 39 plus 4 is 43. 43 plus 10 is 53. 53 plus 2 is 55. 56. So we get 56.95. Then 38 plus 4 is 42. 42 plus 12 is 54. 54 plus 1 is uh, 55. 55 plus 1.4 is 56.4. 56.4 .4 plus 0.7 is 56.1. And then 57.35. And 39 plus 4 is 43, 43 plus 10 is 53, 53 plus 1 is 54, 54 plus 1 is 55, 55 plus 1 is 56. So this will be 56. And 38 plus 5 is 43, 43 plus 11 is 54, 54 plus 1 is 55, 55 plus 1.2 is 56.2, 56 56.2 56 plus 0.55 is 56.75. And finally, for Azim, 37 plus size is 42, 42 plus 11. 42 plus 11 is 53, 53 plus 2 is 55. 
these two add up to 55.6, sorry, 0.6, 0.6, and 0.8 adds up to two. So this total will add up to 57. So now when they're saying PIMX will identify the top two students, the top two students here will be Ratan and Azim. These two kids get offers here. We have to do the same processing for Y. We have to do the same processing for Z. Lots of work. But what can you do? You have to do it. So 99 half is 49.5, 5, 48.5, 49, 47.5, and 47. Then 25% means one fourth. So 5.5. 5.75, 6, 6.75, and 7.25. Then for P, I 20%, so one fifth of this. So 6.2, 7, 6, 6.6, and 6.6. .6. Finally, 5% again, so I can copy the numbers from X, I'll get. 2.1, 1.7, 1.5, 1.8, and 2.05. Let's add up the numbers. 49 plus 5 is 54. 54 plus 8 is 62. 62 plus 1 is 64. 64.3. 49 plus 5 is 54. 54 plus 8 is 62. 62 plus 1 is 63. 63 plus 0. 3. So 63.3. And 48 and 5 is uh, 53. 53 plus 7 is 60. 60 plus 1, 60. 61, 61. 61 plus 1.25 is 62.75 and then 62.95. Forty nine and six and six, so twelve sixty one sixty two point five. Here, forty seven plus six is fifty three. Fifty three plus six is fifty nine. Fifty nine plus one is sixty. Sixty plus uh, one point one, so sixty one point one, sixty one point eight five, and finally point eight extra sixty one point eight five plus point eight, so sixty two. 0.65 okay and finally for azim 47 and 7 is 54 54 plus 8 is 62 62.9 62.9 now in institute y we were supposed to get three people top three scorers so i see the highest scorer is narayan here then we have Ratan. Then we have Azim. These two, Mukesh and Deveshwar, don't get an offer. Now let's do the working for Narayan. So 60%. And 2, 3 by 5, 297 by 5. So 50, 1 is 0.6, no? So 59.4. Then 1.8 less 58.2, 58.8. Then 5 into 0.6 is 3 less, so 57. And then even lower than that, 56.4. Then in GD, 15%. So 3.3. 3.3. Then... One more point one five more so three point four five three point six four point zero five and then four point three five then in PI again fifteen percent so thirty one into fifteen is four point six five. Thirty-five into fifteen is five point two five. 
चार ज्यादा है तो पॉइंट सिक्स ज्यादा है बिल्कुल ठीक है देन थर्टी इंटू फिफ्टीन इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव देन फोर पॉइंट नाइन फाइव देन फोर पॉइंट नाइन फाइव and finally for other parameters 10% so 4.2 3.4 3.6 and 4.1 we have all the numbers needed let us add them up 59 and 3 give me 62 62 plus 8 gives me 70 70.9 and 0.55 so 71.55 Then fifty eight and three sixty one sixty one plus eighty sixty nine sixty nine plus point nine sorry so seventy point three okay fifty eight and three sixty one sixty one plus seven is sixty eight sixty eight plus one point nine so sixty nine point nine then. Fifty-seven and four is sixty-one. Sixty-one and four is sixty-five. Sixty-five and three is sixty-eight. Sixty-eight and one is sixty-nine. So sixty-nine point six. And finally, here fifty-six and four is sixty. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. So one. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine point eight. So we have managed to get composite scores everywhere. In why the three people who will get selected are Narayan, Ratan, and Mukesh. These are the three people who will get selected. The top three scores. Okay, let us get to individual questions. Who among the following will fail to get an admission offer from any of the PIMs? Mukesh has an offer from Z. Deveshwar does not have an offer from anywhere. Azim has an offer from X and Y. And Narayan has an offer from Y and Z, so the answer has to be option B. Deveshwar. Next, if Anil also joins the probable list of students with scores of ninety six, twenty six, thirty four, and thirty one in eighty GDPI and other parameters respectively, then how many final admission offers will Anil receive? Okay, so we have a new person coming in. We have to do the work for Anil. So. A little bit of space. Forty percent of ninety six. So thirty eight point four. Twenty percent of this so five point two. Then thirty five percent. Thirty five into thirty four is one eleven point nine. Okay. Eleven point nine, and then thirty one. One point five five. Let's add this up. How much are we getting? Thirty eight and five, forty three, forty three plus eleven, fifty four, fifty four plus one, fifty five, fifty five, and uh, we get here point six, point five five. So one point one five and point nine. So two point zero five. So fifty seven point zero five. We should be getting fifty seven point zero five. Okay. If he gets a fifty seven point zero five, then this fellow will end up taking a Zim spot, and Anil will get selected. He will end up taking a Zim spot, and this fellow will end up getting selected. Let us do the same work for. I should have written his name here. Let us do the same work for other places. So for ninety six half is forty eight. Twenty six ka twenty percent so six point five. Thirty four ka twenty percent one fifth so six point eight. And thirty one ka five percent so two point zero one point five five. So forty eight and six is fifty four. Fifty four and six is sixty. Sixty plus one is sixty one. Sixty-one, and then we have sixty-two point nine five. Let's see, forty-eight and six is fifty-four. Fifty-four plus six is 
60, 60 plus 1 is 61. Oh, so we end up with 62.85. And he does not get a better score than Azim, who was the lowest scorer out of Y. So he does not get an offer from Y. Let us do the work for let us do the work for Z also. 96 into 0.6. Okay. 4 into 0.6 is 2.4. 2.4 come to 57.6. Then 15% of 26, so 3.9. 15% of 34, so 5.1. 5.1, and then 31 for 10%, so 3.1. Let's see, 57 and 360, 68, 69. We get 69.7 here. So here also he does not manage to take the offer away from Mukesh. So how many places will he receive final admission offers from? It will just be one. Last, in order to secure admission in PIMX, Narayan can improve his score by how much and in which parameter? PIMX, right now the two people getting selected are, see this Anil working was only valid so far as question two was concerned. As soon as question two is done, Anil no longer exists. Only these five kids exist. Mm -hmm. So now let's see. Narayan is currently losing to Azim by a margin of 0 0.05. He is currently losing to Azim by a margin of 0 0.05. And now what increase in score of Narayan can improve his score by how much in which parameter? So let's see. If he improve, improves his score by one marks in GD, his score will rise by his score will rise by 0.2. So this is fine. If he improves his score in PI by one mark, his score will improve by 0.35. So this is also fine. Given that option A and B both suffice, the correct answer right now you can mark as option D. Otherwise, if you want to check the final thing also, two marks in other parameters. Two marks in other parameters. 5% of 2 is 0.1. This leads to an increase of 0 0.15. This leads to an increase of 0 0.35, sorry, 0 0.2. This leads to an increase of 0 0.35 and this leads to an increase of 0 0.1. Because he was only trailing by a margin of 0 0.05, either of these actions will lead to Narayan being selected over Azi. Last, on the basis of the weights of the selection parameters by PIMs, the total marks of the given five students is the highest for which of the following PIMs. So, they are asking the summation is higher for which PIM. Clearly, you can see the highest totals are observable in PIM Z. So, that should be the answer. And that is the entirety of this set. It requires a bit, little bit of calculation. But once you do it, then there is very little for us to worry about. In fact, the only question that requires you to do all this is the first one. After the first one, the second one also becomes easier to handle. The third one becomes very, very easy. The fourth one becomes very, very easy. That will be all for this. Time.